Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Wakas and I'm here with another video. In this video I will tell you guys how you can create stairs. So let's move and start creating stairs. So I'm going to main floor plan. Let me hide this uh, floor pattern first. So how you can hide just go to view tab and there you will find a visibility graphics or you can type vg from the keyboard as a shortcut just click it and uh, drop down you will find uh, floors over here just click the pattern override uncheck the visible ok click apply and ok so floor is invisible now so let's start creating the stairs. In order to create the stairs, you should go to architecture tab over here and select the stairs from here. So you have uh, different type of monolithic stairs over here, assembled stairs and precast stairs. So I'm going to select this cast in place monolithic stair. So select this one and uh, if you will go to property palette you will see the base level of the stairs is main floor and the base offset is 0 top offset the uh, top level is first floor and the top offset is 0 so we are going to stairs from main floor to the first floor with the offset 0 and uh, you know that uh, the height which we have selected earlier from main floor to the first floor is 12 feet 6 inches and uh, as you can see over here these are the number of steps uh, so 22 steps I'm going to use over here and the actual tread depth actual tre tread height it is uh, 1053 by 64 inches so let's start creating these stairs so let me start from here as you can see it says 10 risers created and 12 remaining 11 rises created 11 remaining just click over here and somewhere here and start creating more as you can see i have used 22 steps over here so just click it and in order to move it in the proper place just select it with the left click and uh, use this move command from here and move it from here to here so this is how you can create the stairs after finish uh, if you will click it you can also change the width from here ok now just finish editing mode so your stairs are created now if i move back to 3d view it will look like this ok let's move to main floor again and uh, let me create an opening for this stairs so that you can easily visualize the stairs so for creating an opening you will go to architecture tab you will find a shaft opening over here just click it and uh, base offset I'm going to use over here is 0 uh, base constraint is main floor and I'm going uh, shaft from uh, top constraint I'm going to take it uh, from main floor to first floor and top offset I'm taking at zero just apply and here is a tool you can use to define the boundary of your shaft opening so I'm going to select a rectangle over here and create an opening from here to here just click it click modify like finish editing mode now go back to your 3d view it looks like this as you can see that we have created an opening over here for the stairs uh, let me hide this uh, floor just click it select the floor right click and hide in the view element so this is how your stairs looks like ok let me get this back ok 
okay if i move back to my main floor and uh, i will select the stairs i want to use this uh, uh, multi story so i will create uh, this stairs up to roof instead of up to first floor so just select roof apply the stairs will be created up to roof we will go back to 3d view as you can see that stairs are up to the roof level later on i will create the roof so this is how you can uh, make a multi story stair case and uh, one more thing i will go to main floor uh, not main floor go to first floor Oh, let me hide this uh, floor pattern first type vg from the keyboard as a shortcut for visibility graphics go down for floors over there patterns override uh, uncheck the uh, visible ok ok there we go so let me create a railing also over here so in order to create the railing go to architecture tab there you will find railing select this one after that uh, it will give you this uh, modify create railing path so we have to draw a path for the railing here different tools are available which you can select to create a path let me select this line and start creating a path over there and giving a path till there press escape twice to cancel the command and uh, let me drag it up till here ok after creating a path just finish editing mode and uh, let's move to 3d view it looks like this so we have created a railing over here if you want to change this uh, railing uh, you just click this railing and you will go over property palette you will find three types over here there is a pipe, rectangular and glass panel bottom fill let me select this glass panel bottom fill ok so same way I will change uh, this one also to last panel bottom fill and uh, this one also ok so stairs are looking like this now and uh, one more thing I want to tell you the stairs let's move back to our main floor and uh, if you will hover your pointer to the stairs and uh, you will select one of the one second yeah this one select it and you will go to property palette you will go to edit type uh, here you find uh, if you will check this tread you can also give the tread material over here you can give a tread thickness you can give a profile for the tread nose length nose profile so you can also create a tread for your staircase if you will check this one so you can also assign a material over here so let me give a tread thickness of uh, 1 inches and the uh, profile I'm going to use over here is uh, M stair tread nose length uh, I'm going to use default 0 and profile that I'm going to use over here is uh, M stair nosing radius 40 mm so apply and ok if I move back to my 3d view as you can see that these spreads are also created over here 
let's move back to our main floor and uh, do some editing on this thread we will select this thread go to edit type and uh, I apply this nosing profile only on the front side I want if you want to apply on the front and the left front and the right front left and right you can select these options so I'm going to apply on the front left and right so select this one apply ok now move back to our let me create a section also first to show you better let me open this section you can open the section by just double clicking on this arrow button you can change the detail levels to fine and uh, wireframe as you can see that the nose uh, profile for the threads we applied on the front side before now we applied on the left side and the right side also if you want to go back to the 3d view you can just click it and go to the 3d view in 3d view it looks like this you can see that we applied this thread on the left side also on the right side so this is how you can create uh, stairs in the next video I will tell you guys how you can create a ceiling and uh, roof also we will create uh, a railing outside this for the balcony area and uh, we will create uh, two columns for the support of this balcony also I hope you guys learn something from this video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you